Inland Sarasota, Pinellas, Polk, and Sumter. Through Thursday evening when? Through Thursday evening. Impacts. Excessive runoff may result in flooding of rivers, creeks, streams, and other low-lying and flood-prone locations. Storm drains and ditches may become clogged with debris. You should monitor later forecasts and be alert for possible flood warnings. Those living in areas prone to flooding should be prepared to take action should flooding develop. This is NOAA Weather Radio WYOUXK83, the voice of the National Weather Service, broadcasting at a frequency of 162.475 MHz. Hello, Hello everybody. everybody. The tower this for NOAA uh, K83 is located uh, near Fort Myers in Lee County and serves southwest Florida. Uh, what is this? Uh, uh, originating uh, from the National uh, Weather uh, Service uh, office uh, in Ruskin. Uh, the station provides warning uh, alerts uh, for Lee, Charlotte, uh, DeSoto, uh, Glades, uh, and Great uh, and Collier uh, Counties. The current time is 5.31 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. One more Hurricane 32. Hurricane warning remains in effect for the following counties in Florida, so Coastal Lee, DeSoto, Hardy, Highlands, Inland Charlotte, Inland Citrus, Inland Hernando, Inland Hillsboro, Inland Levy, Inland Manatee, Inland Pasco, Inland Sarasota, Polk and Sumter. Tide forecast at Fort Myers Beach, high time Thursday at 4.49 a.m. Low tide Thursday at 1.50 p.m. Flood warning now in effect from Friday morning until further notice. What? Minor flooding is forecast. Where? Fishing Creek near Palmdale. When? From Friday morning until further notice. Impacts at 7 feet. Fishing Creek is at flood stage. Access road to campground and the bathhouse are flooded. Additional details, at 11 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time Wednesday, the stage was 6.2 feet. Bankful stage is 5.0 feet. Forecast, the river is expected to rise above flood stage Friday morning and continue rising to a crest of 7.5 feet Saturday morning. Thank, Thank you for joining today. Flood 7 feet. Um, um, flood history, continue this crest to compares um, to a previous no crest one? of 7.5 oh, feet on no September 17, 1979. Uh, push, uh, HTTP colon slash slash www.weather.gov slash safety slash flood. Flood advisory remains in effect until 6 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time this evening. What? Flooding caused by excessive rainfall continues. Where? A portion of southwest Florida, including the following county, Collier. When? Until 6 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Impacts. Minor flooding in low-lying and poor drainage areas. Additional details. At 27 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, Doppler radar indicated heavy rains have ended. Uh, However, between one and three inches of rain have fallen from the heavy rains and this water will take some time uh, to drain away due to the increased surge of the uh, area. That, that Therefore, uh, the flood uh, advisory uh, will remain in effect until 6 p.m. Uh, Eastern uh, Daylight uh, Time uh, this uh, evening. Uh, some locations that will experience flooding include Everglades City, Carnstown, Plantation Island, Big Cypress National Preserve and Everglades National Park. HTTP or colon slash slash www.weather.gov slash safety slash flood turnaround don't drown when encountering flooded roads most of flood deaths occur in vehicles please report observed flooding to local emergency services or law enforcement and request they pass this information to the National Weather Service to do so safely I, I am looking, looking for a lot of no effect from this afternoon uh, until for the moderator. What? We check the entire building. Uh, oh, here is Pilot Creek Park. Yeah, yeah, it's really yeah, 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 Forecast: The river is expected to rise right above flood stage late well, this well, afternoon well, and continue well, rising to a crest of 15 feet early Saturday morning. Flood stage is 12 feet. Flood history. Right, right, this well, crest well. compares to a previous crest of 15 feet on February 19, 1998. HTTPS: www.weather.gov/ Safety Moderate flooding is forecast. Where? Peace River at Arcadia at ASR 70. When? From this afternoon until further notice. Impacts. 
at 16.5 feet, 25 homes at River Acres are impacted. Additional and details at 4.30 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time Wednesday, the state was 10.9 feet. Bankful stage is 10 feet. Not Forecast. The river is expected to rise above flood stage late this afternoon and continue rising to 15.4 feet early Monday afternoon. Additional rises are possible thereafter. Flood stage is 11 feet. Flood history. This crest compares to a previous crest of 15.4 feet on June 26, 2003. HTTPS www.weather.gov slash 
at Venice Municipal Airport, mixed precipitation was falling. Marine reports along the coast and offshore buoys. At the sea man site at Venice. Winds were southeast at 39 knots. Sea temperature 83 degrees. Air temperature 82 degrees. At 100 miles west of Bayport. Winds were northeast at 39 knots. Air temperature 77 degrees. Wave height 16 feet. Wave period 9 seconds. The report from 210 miles west of Captiva was not available. This is a tropical weather bulletin from the National Hurricane Center. Issued at 4.56 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. At 5 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, or 2100 UTC, the center of Hurricane Milton was located near latitude 26.9 north, latitude 83.4 west. About 95 miles, 154 kilometers west of Fort Myers, Florida. About 92 miles, 129 kilometers southwest of Tampa, Florida. Milton is moving toward the northeast near 17 miles an hour, 28 kilometers per hour. And this motion is expected to continue through tonight. A turn toward the east and northeast is expected on Thursday, followed by a turn toward the east on Friday. On the forecast track, the center of Milton will make landfall near or just south of the Tampa Bay region this evening, move across the central part of the Florida Peninsula overnight, and emerge off the east coast of Florida on Thursday. Maximum sustained winds are near 120 miles an hour, 195 kilometers per hour with higher gusts. Tornado watch number 690 has been canceled for the following counties in Florida, Charlotte, DeSoto, and Lee. Repeating, the tornado watch number 690 has been canceled for the following counties in Florida, Charlotte, DeSoto, and Lee. Tornado watch number 690 has been canceled for the following marine locations, Charlotte Harbor and Pine Island Sound, coastal waters from Bonita Beach to Englewood out 20 nautical miles, and coastal waters from Bonita Beach to Englewood out 20 to 60 nautical miles. Repeating, the tornado watch number 690 has been canceled for the following marine locations, Charlotte Harbor and Pine Island Sound, coastal waters from Bonita Beach to Englewood out 20 nautical miles, and coastal waters from Bonita Beach to Englewood out 20 to 60 nautical miles. This is a tropical weather bulletin from the National Hurricane Center, issued at 4.56 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. At 5 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, or 2100 UTC, the center of Hurricane Milton was located near latitude 26.9 north, latitude 83.4 west, about 95 miles, 154 kilometers west of Fort Myers, Florida, about 92 miles, 149 kilometers southwest of Tampa, Florida. Milton is moving toward the northeast near 17 miles an hour, 28 kilometers per hour, and this motion is expected to continue through tonight. A turn toward the east and northeast is expected on Thursday, followed by a turn toward the east on Friday. On the forecast track, the center of Milton will make landfall near or just south of the Tampa Bay region this evening, move across the central part of the Florida Peninsula overnight, and emerge off the east coast of Florida on Thursday. Maximum sustained winds are near 120 miles an hour, 195 kilometers per hour with higher gusts. Milton is a Category 3 hurricane on the Saphir Simpson hurricane wind scale. Milton could still be a major hurricane when it reaches the coast of West Central Florida this evening, and it will remain a hurricane while it moves across Central Florida through Thursday. Milton is forecast a weekend over the Western Atlantic and become extra-tropical by Thursday night. Hurricane force winds extend outward up to 35 miles, 55 kilometers from the center, and tropical storm force winds extend outward up to 235 miles, 405 kilometers. A weather flow site located in Lake Marshall has even recently reported a sustained wind speed of 51 miles an hour, 82 kilometers per hour, with a wind gust of 63 miles an hour, 102 kilometers per hour. A weather flow site located on the Sunshine Skyway Fishing Pier XSKY recently reported a sustained wind speed of 47 miles an hour, 76 kilometers per hour, with a wind gust of 62 miles an hour, 100 kilometers per hour. The minimum central pressure based on Air Force Reserve Hurricane Hunter data is 948 millibars, 28.00 inches. 
Now for the official National Weather Service forecast issued 2 a.m. Wednesday, October 9th, 2024 for the WXK83 listening area. For the following counties in Florida, D.E. Soto, Charlotte, and Lee, including the cities of Arcadia, Fort Charlotte, and Fort Myers. Today, tropical storm conditions possible. Isolated thunderstorms. Numerous showers this morning, then widespread showers this afternoon. Locally heavy rainfall possible this afternoon. Highs in the mid-80s. East winds 15 to 20 miles an hour with gusts up to 35 miles an hour. Becoming southeast 20 to 30 miles an hour with gusts up to 50 miles an hour this afternoon. Chance of rain near 100%. Tonight, tropical storm conditions possible. Isolated yeah, thunderstorms. Widespread showers, mainly in the evening. Locally heavy rainfall possible in the evening. Near steady temperature around 80. South winds 35 to 45 miles an hour with gusts up to 65 miles an hour. Chance of rain near 100%. Thursday, tropical storm conditions possible. Partly sunny with scattered showers with isolated thunderstorms. Near steady temperature in the lower 80s. West winds 25 to 35 miles an hour with gusts up to 55 miles an hour. Chance of rain 50%. Thursday night, mostly cloudy. Isolated showers and thunderstorms in the evening. Breezy with lows in the lower 70s. Northwest winds 15 to 25 miles an hour with gusts up to 35 miles an hour. Becoming north 10 to 15 miles an hour with gusts up to 25 miles an hour after midnight. Chance of rain 20%. Friday, mostly sunny. Highs in the mid-80s. North winds 15 to 20 miles an hour with gusts up to 30 miles an hour. Friday night, partly cloudy in the evening, then clearing. Lows around 70. Saturday, sunny. Highs in the mid-80s. Saturday night, partly cloudy. Lows in the lower 70s. Sunday, mostly sunny. Isolated showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the mid-80s. Chance of rain 20%. Sunday night, mostly cloudy in the evening, then becoming partly cloudy. Isolated showers and thunderstorms. Lows in the lower 70s. Chance of rain 20%. Columbus Day, mostly sunny with isolated thunderstorms. Isolated showers in the morning, then scattered showers in the afternoon. Highs in the mid-80s. Chance of rain 40%. Monday night, partly cloudy with scattered showers with isolated thunderstorms. Lows in the lower 70s. Chance of rain 40%. Tuesday, mostly sunny with isolated thunderstorms. Isolated showers in the morning, then scattered showers in the afternoon. Highs in the mid-80s. Chance of rain 40%. This is NOAA Weather Radio WYOUXK83, the voice of the National Weather Service, broadcasting at a frequency of 162.475 megahertz. The tower for WXK83 is located near Fort Myers in Lee County and serves southwest Florida with programming originating from the National Weather Service office in Ruskin. The station provides warning alerts for Lee, DeSoto, Glades, Henry, and Collier counties. Your local forecast for the WXK83 listening area for the following county, sure. Coastal Collier, Florida. Issued at 5.31 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Flood watch remains in effect through Thursday morning. High surf advisory in effect until 8 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Flood advisory is canceled. The flood advisory is canceled for a portion of southwest Florida, including the following area, Collier. The heavy rain has ended. Flooding is no longer expected to pose a threat. Please continue to heed remaining road closures. Your local forecast for the WXK83 listening area for the following county, Coastal Collier, Florida. Issued at 5.31 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Flood watch remains in effect through Thursday morning. High surf advisory in effect until 8 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time Thursday. Tornado watch 690 in effect until 9 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time this evening. High rip current risk in effect through Friday morning. Storm surge warning in effect. Tropical storm warning in effect. Tonight, tropical storm conditions. 
southwest winds 35 to 45 miles an hour. Miles an hour. Up to 60 miles, miles an hour. Oh, Thursday, tropical wow, storm oh, conditions possible. Mostly yeah, cloudy yeah. with a chance of showers and thunderstorms in the morning. Then partly sunny with a slight chance of showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon. Some thunderstorms may produce heavy rainfall in the morning. Humid. Near steady temperature in the lower 80s. West winds 25 to 35 miles an hour with gusts up to 60 miles an hour. Chance of rain 50%. That will not be responding Thursday until night, the storm happens. Tropical storm conditions possible. Mostly cloudy in the evening, then becoming partly cloudy. I got a knock on the north side of the building. Northwest winds 20 to 30 miles an hour with gusts up to 50 miles an hour. Diminishing to 15 to 20 miles an hour with gusts up to 35 miles an hour. Are multiple night. buildings on fire? Friday, mostly sunny. Highs in the upper hey, 80s. Injuries. North winds 15 to 20 miles an hour with hey, gusts no up to 30 injuries. miles an hour. Friday night, partly cloudy in the evening, uh, then clearing. Lows in the lower 70s. North east winds 15 to 20 miles an hour with gusts up to 25 miles an hour. Saturday, sunny. Well, one, seven, Highs in the seven, upper seven, 80s. Two, Saturday seven, night, seven, partly cloudy. Seven, Lows in the lower 70s. Sunday, mostly sunny. Highs in the mid 80s. Sunday night, partly cloudy. Lows in the lower 70s. Columbus Day, mostly sunny. Buildings are on fire. Of showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the mid 80s. Chance of rain 40 percent. Monday night, partly cloudy. A chance of showers and thunderstorms in the evening. Right. Lows in the lower 70s. Chance of rain 40 percent. Tuesday, mostly sunny. Chance of showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the mid 80s. Chance of rain, 30%. Tuesday night, mostly cloudy. A chance of showers and thunderstorms in the evening. Lows in the lower 70s. Chance of rain, 30%. Wednesday, partly sunny. We're holding Highs off in on the, the lower 80s. Fire arrives at scene. Synopsis, major hurricane Milton will make landfall <laughs> along the west central and southwest Florida coast late this evening and tonight producing life-threatening storm surge. Destructive major hurricane force wind damage. Flash flooding rain and scattered damaging um, tornadoes to much of the area. Your um, coastal waters forecast the for the WXK 83 listening area for the following marine location, Charlotte Harbor and Pine Island Sound. Uh, issued at 12.06 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Tornado watch 690 in effect until 9 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time this evening. Hurricane warning in effect. This afternoon, tropical storm conditions with hurricane conditions possible. Southeast winds 35 to 45 knots. Waves 2 to 3 feet. Bay and inland waters extremely rough. Isolated thunderstorms. Widespread showers. Tonight, hurricane conditions expected. South winds 40 to 50 knots, becoming west after midnight. Waves 2 to 4 feet. Bay and inland waters extremely rough. Isolated thunderstorms. Widespread showers, mainly in the evening. Thursday, tropical storm conditions expected with hurricane conditions possible. West winds 30 to 40 knots, becoming northwest 25 to 35 knots in the afternoon. Waves 2 to 4 feet. Bay and inland waters extremely rough. Isolated thunderstorms. Dispatch. Scattered showers until late afternoon, then isolated showers late. Thursday night, tropical storm conditions possible. Northwest winds 30 to 35 knots, becoming north 15 to 20 knots with gusts up to 30 knots after midnight. Waves 2 to 3. 3.39, hours. And inland waters extremely rough. Isolated showers and thunderstorms early in the evening. Friday, north winds 15 to 20 knots with gusts up to 25 knots. Bay and inland waters choppy. Friday night, northeast winds 15 to 20 knots with gusts up to 25 knots. Bay and inland waters choppy. Saturday, northeast winds 10 to 15 knots with gusts up to 20 knots. Bay and inland waters a moderate chop. Saturday night, northeast winds 10 to 15 knots. Bay and inland waters a moderate chop. Sunday, east winds 5 to 10 knots. Bay and inland waters light chop. 
isolated showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon. Winds and waves higher and there are thunderstorms. Uh, Your coastal water forecast for the WXKA3 listening area for the following marine location, coastal waters from Bonita Beach to Englewood out 20 nautical miles. Issued at 12.06 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Tornado watch 690 in effect until 9 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time this evening. Hurricane warning in effect. For the transformer this afternoon, on fire tropical storm conditions with hurricane conditions possible. Repeating 26 Southeast winds 35 to 25 knots with gusts up to 55 zero. knots. Seas 9 to 12 feet, occasionally to 15 feet. Can you send a ladder to the southwest 12 feet, 13 feet, and 6 feet at 6 seconds? Today and inland waters extremely rough. Isolated thunderstorms. Widespread showers. Tonight, hurricane conditions expected. South winds 55 to 65 knots with gusts up to 80 knots. Becoming west 45 to 55 knots with gusts up to 65 knots after midnight. Seas 14 to 19 feet, occasionally to 24 feet. Wave detail, southwest 19 feet at 14 seconds and west 6 feet at 7 seconds. Bay and inland waters extremely rough. We've got a hydrant right here. Isolated oh, thunderstorms. I recommend Wide a second alarm for now. We're going to be evening. putting Thursday, 200 blue on the line. Storm conditions expected with hurricane conditions possible. I copy your own west scene of an outbuilding. Smoking flames show in the south first of all. I copy your second alarm. It's going to be a uh, modified to second alarm for now. Setting to 9 to 12 feet, occasionally to 15 feet on the afternoon. Wave detail, west 15 feet at 10 seconds and west 6 feet at 7 seconds. We got Bay and inland waters extremely low. Isolated thunderstorms. It's going to be the Bravo side of the building. Until late afternoon. Command. Isolated showers late. Thursday night, tropical storm conditions possible. Command. Northwest winds 25 to 35 knots, becoming north 20 to 25 knots with gusts up to 30 knots after midnight. Seas 7 to 10 feet, occasionally to 13 feet, subsiding to 5 to 7 feet, occasionally to 9 feet after midnight. Wave detail, northwest 10 feet at 9 seconds and west 1 foot at 10 seconds. Bay and inland waters extremely rough. Seas 7 to north winds 20 to 25 knots, diminishing to 15 to 20 knots in the afternoon. Seas 4 to 6 feet, occasionally to 8 feet. Wave detail, northwest 6 feet at 8 seconds and north 2 feet at 4 seconds. Bay and inland waters rough. Friday night, mm -hmm. northeast winds 20 to 25 knots, diminishing to 15 to 20 knots after midnight. Seas 3 to 5 feet, occasionally to 6 feet. Wave detail, northwest 4 feet at 7 seconds and northeast 3 feet at 4 seconds. Bay and inland waters rough. Saturday, northeast winds 15 to 20 knots, diminishing to 10 to 15 knots in the afternoon. Seas 2 to 4 feet, occasionally to 5 feet. Bay and inland waters choppy. Saturday night, northeast winds 15 to 20 knots, becoming 10 to 15 knots after midnight. Seas 2 to 3 feet. Bay and inland waters choppy. Sunday, east winds 10 to 15 knots. Seas around two feet. We're gonna hold sound Bay and inland water is a moderate chop. Isolated Not showers and thunderstorms in the Not afternoon. Sure. Winds and seas higher and end near thunderstorms. Your coastal waters forecast for the WXK83 listening area for the following marine location: Charlotte Harbor and Pine Island. We have Island fire monitoring the breezeway here. 5:55 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Hurricane warning in effect. Tonight, hurricane conditions expected. South winds 40 to 50 knots with gusts up to 65 knots. Becoming west 35 to 45 knots with gusts up to 55 knots. Let's go ahead and give me a 360 in the building. Bay and inland waters extremely rough. Isolated thunderstorms. Numerous showers, mainly this evening. Thursday, tropical storm conditions expected with hurricane conditions possible. Northwest winds 25 to 35 knots with gusts up to 50 knots. Waves 2 to 4 feet. We're getting a good knot on water is extremely rough. Scattered showers with isolated thunderstorms in the morning. Then isolated showers and thunderstorms early in the afternoon. 
Thursday night, northwest winds to 20 knots with gusts up to 35 knots, becoming north 15 to 20 knots with gusts up to 25 knots after midnight. Big and inland waters rough. Friday, north winds 15 to 20 knots with gusts up to 25 knots. Friday night, northeast winds 15 to 20 knots with gusts up to 25 knots. Bay and inland waters Saturday, northeast winds 10 to 15 knots with gusts up to 20 knots. Bay and inland waters a moderate chop. Saturday night, northeast winds 10 to 15 knots. Bay and inland waters a moderate chop. Sunday, east winds 5 to 10 knots. Bay and inland waters light chop. Sunday night, east winds 5 to 10 knots. Bay and inland waters light chop. Monday, east winds 5 to 10 knots. Bay and inland waters light chop. Isolated yeah. showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon. I mean, winds and well. winds higher and end their thunderstorms. Coastal waters forecast for the WXK80 Tomato area. For the following morning location, coastal waters from Bonita Beach to Englewood out 20 nautical miles. He should at 5.55 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Hurricane warning in effect. Tonight, hurricane conditions expected. South winds 50 to 60 knots with gusts up to 80 knots, becoming west 35 to 45 knots they with gusts move. up to 60 knots after midnight. Seas 14 to 19 feet, occasionally to 24 feet. Wave detail, southwest yeah, 19 feet at 13 seconds and west power. 4 feet at 7 seconds. Bay and inland waters extremely rough. Isolated thunderstorms. Thursday, tropical storm water. conditions oh. expected with hurricane conditions He's possible. Not, yeah. Northwest winds 25 to 30 knots with gusts up to 40 knots. Seas 9 Three to 12 Nora, feet, 81, 25, to 49, feet. 21, north 88. Wave detail, west 12 feet at 9 seconds and northwest 2 feet at 4 seconds. Bay and inland waters very rough. Numerous showers with isolated thunderstorms early in the morning, then isolated showers and thunderstorms in the late morning and early afternoon. Thursday night, north winds 25 to 30 knots, diminishing to 20 to 25 knots after midnight. Seas 7 to 10 feet, occasionally to 13 feet, subsiding to 5 to 7 feet, occasionally to 9 feet after midnight. Wave detail, northwest 9 feet at 8 seconds. Bay and inland waters very rough. Friday, north winds 20 to 25 Thank knots, you. becoming northeast 15 to 20 knots in the afternoon. Sea also to be six advised, feet, there's occasionally to water on 26th Street. About the wave 40, detail, northwest 6 feet at 8 seconds and northwest 5 feet at 8 seconds. Bay and inland waters rough. Friday night, northeast winds That's 20 correct. to That's 25 knots, alarm. diminishing to 15 to 20 knots after midnight.
sea is 21 to 26 feet, occasionally to 33 feet, subsiding to 14 to 19 feet, occasionally to 24 feet after midnight. Wave detail, southwest 26 feet at 12 seconds and east 3 feet at 8 seconds. Isolated thunderstorms. Thursday, tropical storm conditions expected with hurricane conditions possible. Can I? Your Northwest winds 25 to 30 knots with gusts up to 40 knots. Seas 11 to 13 feet, occasionally to 17 feet. Wave detail, Bye. northwest 13 feet at 8 seconds. Isolated thunderstorms. Scattered showers early in the morning, then isolated showers in the late morning and afternoon. Thursday night, north winds 25 to 30 knots, diminishing to 20 to 25 knots after midnight. Seas 9 to 11 feet. They all know you're on channel 3. Feet, subsiding to 7 to 10 feet, occasionally to 13 feet after Ten midnight. Four. How about you guys? Everybody detail, good? Northwest 11 feet at good 9 here. seconds and southwest 1 foot at 7 seconds. Isolated yeah, my first phone comes in the evening. If you want to switch over, cool to on the phone, cool everybody can be in on the same time, I'm sure. She's five to no eight big eight thing. Or if you want to be more Wave detail. North 8 feet at 8 seconds. Nope, I'm not just making sure you knew where you were on our channel. Three guys. I told my guys not to check in until 9. I can't get them with a wall of wall of health. It don't matter. We can all check in on the same channel, right? Occasionally to 8 feet. Wave detail. North 5 feet at 8 seconds. I was about to plan. I got to check in at 9, too. So, uh, that's where I'll be on it. Saturday. Northeast winds 15 to 20 knots. That was it, bud. You doing all right? Stay where you at. Occasionally to 6 feet. Wave detail, north 4 feet at 6 seconds. That's fine, here just a little wind before. Northeast wind at around 15 knots. Sea 3 to 4 feet, occasionally right, well. to 5 feet. I'll be safe, we'll probably hear everybody at 9 o'clock. Sunday, east winds 10 to 15 knots. Seas 2 to 3 feet. Alright, I'm picking off. Isolated showers and thunderstorms early in the morning. Isolated showers and thunderstorms yeah, late. Is picked up, Sunday so night, east winds we'll around see 10 knots. We're going to see a little earlier than we were thinking. Feet. Isolated showers and thunderstorms. Monday, east winds around 10 knots. This east winds with the last. Isolated showers and thunderstorms. Winds and seas higher and end near thunderstorms. The National Weather Service in Tampa Bay, Ruskin, has issued a flash flood warning for Hardy County in Central Florida, Florida Central 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 Florida, Northeastern DeSoto County in South Central Florida, Highlands County in South Central Florida, Hillsborough County in West Central Florida, Manatee County in West Central Florida, until 6.15 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. At 3.12 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, Doppler radar indicated heavy rain across the Warren area. Between 2 and 4 inches of rain have fallen. I don't understand. Additional rainfall amounts of 2 to 4 inches are possible in the Warren area. Uh, flash flooding is ongoing or expected uh, to begin shortly. I'm going to make this be fun. Flash caused by heavy rain. Flash flooding of small creeks and streams, urban areas. All right, where are you making it? Yeah, on the and underpasses as well as other poor drainage and low-lying areas. Some locations that will experience flash flooding include Tampa, Lakeland, Plant City, Winter Haven, Temple Terrace, King City, Lake Wales, Albanale, Sebring, Avon Park, Wachula, Lake Placid, Fish Hall, Lake 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 Village, Medulla and Fussell's Corner. Turn around, don't drown when encountering flooded roads. Most of flood deaths occur in vehicles. Be aware of your surroundings and do not drive on flooded roads. Flood watch remains in effect through Thursday morning. What? Flooding caused by excessive rainfall continues to be possible. Where? Portions of southern and southwest Florida, including the following areas, in southern Florida, Glades and Henry. In southwest Florida, coastal Collier County and inland Collier County. When? Through Thursday morning. Impacts, excessive runoff may result in flooding of rivers, creeks, streams, and other low-lying and flood-prone yeah, locations. You okay? Flooding may occur in poor drainage and urban areas. Extensive street flooding and flooding of creeks and rivers we just are lost possible. Good luck, additional details, dash one to three inches of additional rainfall possible through tomorrow. HTTP colon slash slash www.weather.gov slash safety slash. 
flood, you should monitor later flood forecasts and be alert for possible flood warnings. Possibly Those living in areas prone to flooding should be prepared to take action should flooding develop. Flood watch remains in effect through Thursday evening. The flood watch continues for portions of southwest Florida and west central Florida, including the following areas in southwest Florida, coastal Charlotte, coastal Lee, inland Charlotte, and inland Lee. In west central Florida, coastal Citrus, coastal Hernando, coastal Hillsboro, coastal Levy, coastal Manatee, coastal Pasco, coastal Sarasota, DeSoto, Hardy, Highlands, inland Citrus, inland Hernando, inland Hillsboro, inland Levy, inland Manatee, inland Pasco, inland Sarasota, Cinellas, and Sumter. Through Thursday evening when? Through Thursday evening. Impacts. Excessive runoff may result in flooding of rivers, creeks, streams, and other low-lying and flood-prone locations. Storm drains and ditches may become clogged with debris. You should Man. monitor later forecasts and be alert for possible flood warnings. Those living in areas prone to flooding should be prepared to take action should flooding develop. This is NOAA Weather Radio WYOUXK83, the voice of the National Weather Service, broadcasting at a frequency of 162.475 MHz. The tower for WXK83 is located near Fort Myers, in Lee County, and serves southwest Florida, with programming originating from the National Weather Service office in Ruskin. The station provides warning alerts for Lee, Charlotte, DeSoto, Glades, Henry, and Collier counties. No. The Fort Myers climate summary for this evening, as of 5 p.m., October 9, 2024. Today's high temperature was 84 degrees. This high was 4 degrees below the normal high of 88. The record high is 94 degrees, which was last set in 2009. Today's low temperature was 76 degrees. My computer This low was 5 degrees above the normal low of 71. The record low is 57 degrees, which was set in 2000. 2.50 inches of precipitation we'll fell today, day. which brings the monthly total to 7.10 inches. This is 5.84 inches above the normal amount of 1.26 inches for October. The total precipitation for the season since September 1st now stands at 17.94 inches, which is 7.68 inches above yeah, normal. The total precipitation for the year is now 76.78 inches, which is 24.87 inches above normal. Today, the maximum wind observed was 30 miles an hour from the south. The highest wind gust observed was 55 miles per hour from the south. The normal high temperature for tomorrow is 88 degrees, and the normal low is 71. The record high for tomorrow is 94, which occurred in 1919, and the record low is 54, which occurred in 2000. Sunset tonight is at 7.05 p.m. Sunrise tomorrow is at 7.24 a.m. Tornado watch number 6 9 remains in effect until 9 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time for the following counties in Florida, Collier, Glades, and Henry. Remember, a tornado watch means the conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather, including tornadoes, large hail, and damaging winds in and close to the watch area. While severe weather may not be imminent, persons should remain alert for rapidly changing weather conditions and listen for later no, statements and possible time. warnings. No Stay matter. tuned to no NOAA Weather okay. Radio, commercial radio and television outlets, or Internet sources for the latest severe weather information. Okay. Repeating, okay. Tornado Watch number 690 remains in effect until 9 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time for the following counties in Florida, Collier, Glades, and Henry. These are the 6 p.m. observations for the local area on no, Wednesday, October 9th. At Fort Myers Page Field, it was right. cloudy. The temperature was 82 degrees, the dew point 75, and the relative humidity 79%. The pressure was 29.29 inches and falling. At Southwest International, visibility 10 right. miles. Wind was south at 31 miles an hour and the pressure was 29.33 inches and falling. At Punta Gorda, it was cloudy. The temperature was 83 degrees, the dew point 77, and the relative humidity 82%. The wind was southeast at 36 miles an hour, gusting to 49. Got it. Thank you. The pressure was 29.24 inches and falling. Rain was falling with a temperature of 75 at Orlando and 84 at West Palm. 
Frequency was cloudy. We're at 6 p.m. and 34 if you'd like to give us a call. And 84 at Key West. At Tampa International, rain and fog were reported with a temperature of 73. At St. Pete Clearwater Airport, rain and fog were reported with a temperature of 73. At Sarasota Bradenton Airport, rain and fog were reported with a temperature of 79. At Venice Municipal Airport, mixed precipitation was falling. Man, we don't worry about coast and loading it the best way right now. Just at drain the water out of it. Venice. Put it up top and once it's higher down, put it away. Sea temperature 83 degrees. Air temperature 82 degrees. And 100 miles west of Bayport. Good. Winds were northeast at 37 knots. Air temperature 78 degrees. Wave height 17 feet. Wave period 8 seconds. The report from 210 miles west of Kopchiva was not available. This is a tropical weather bulletin from the National Hurricane Center. Issued at 4 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Yeah, at 5 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. For 2100 UTC, the center of Hurricane yeah, Milton was located near latitude 26.9 north, latitude 83.4 west. Okay, about 95 miles, 154 yeah. kilometers west of Fort Myers, yeah. Florida. About 92 miles, 149 kilometers southwest of Tampa, Florida. Milton is moving toward the northeast near 17 miles an hour, 28 kilometers per hour, and this motion is expected to continue through tonight. A turn toward the east and northeast is expected on Thursday, followed by a turn toward the east on Friday. On the forecast track, the center of Milton will make landfall near our south of the Tampa Bay region this evening, move across the central part of the Florida Peninsula overnight, and emerge off the east coast of Florida on Thursday. Maximum sustained winds are near 120 miles an hour, 195 kilometers per hour with higher gusts. Milton is the hurricane on the Saffir Simpson hurricane wind scale. Milton could still Third, be advised, we're starting to see an increase in the rain of rain this evening. It will remain a hurricane as island as a across this central area. Florida through Thursday. Milton is forecast to weaken over the western Atlantic and become extratropical by Thursday night. Hurricane force winds extend outward up to 35 miles, 55 kilometers from the center of the tropical storm force winds extend outward up to 265 miles, 405 kilometer. A weather flow site located in the Channel Eagle recently reported a sustained wind speed of 51 miles an hour, 82 kilometers per hour, with a wind gust of 63 miles an hour, 100 kilometers per hour. Texas. A weather flow site located on the Sunshine Skyway Fishing Pier XSKY recently reported a sustained wind speed of 47 miles an hour, 76 kilometers per hour, with a wind gust of 62 miles an hour, 100 kilometers per hour. The minimum central pressure based on Air Force Reserve Hurricane Hunter data is 940 inches. Just give me a up. Your local forecast for the WXK83 listening area for the following county, Coastal College, Florida. Issued at 531 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Flood watch remains in effect through Thursday morning. High surf advisory in effect until 8 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time Thursday. Tornado watch 690 in effect until 9 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time this evening. High rip current risk in effect through Friday morning. Storm surge warning in effect. Tropical storm warning in effect. Tonight, tropical storm conditions. Southwest winds 35 to 45 miles an hour with gusts up to 60 miles an hour. Thursday. Tropical storm conditions possible. Mostly cloudy with a chance of showers and thunderstorms in the morning, then partly sunny with a slight chance of showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon. Some thunderstorms may produce heavy rainfall in the morning. Humid. Near steady temperature in the lower 80s. West winds 25 to 35 miles an hour with gusts up to 60 miles an hour. Chance of rain 50%. Thursday night, tropical storm conditions possible. Mostly cloudy in the evening, then becoming partly cloudy. Lows in the mid-70s. Northwest winds 20 to 30 miles an hour with gusts up to 50 miles an hour. Diminishing to 15 to 20 miles an hour with gusts up to 35 miles an hour after midnight. Friday, mostly sunny. Highs in the upper 80s. North winds 15 to 20 miles an hour with gusts up to 30 miles an hour. Friday night, partly cloudy in the evening, then clear heat, 
lows in the lower second degree collar unknown as any piece of track second five thousand miles an hour mile marker two three twenty five miles an hour Saturday, zero five sunny highs in the upper eighties Saturday night partly cloudy lows in the lower seventies Sunday mostly sunny highs in the mid eighties three twenty three Sunday night partly cloudy lows in the lower seventies Columbus Day mostly sunny a chance of showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the mid 80s. Chance of rain 40%. Monday night, partly cloudy. A chance of showers and thunderstorms in the evening. Lows in the lower 70s. Chance of rain 40%. Tuesday, mostly sunny. A chance of showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the mid 80s. Chance of rain 40%. Tuesday night, mostly cloudy. A chance of showers and thunderstorms in the evening. Lows in the lower five, 70s. Ten minutes now, a few past chance of rain 30%. To go to it. Wednesday, a school over another district. Highs in the really lower 80s. 32. Synopsis. Major hurricane Milton will make landfall along the west central and southwest really Florida, Florida coast late this evening and tonight producing life-threatening storm awesome. surge. Destructive major hurricane force really wind damage, too. flash flooding rain and scattered damaging tornadoes in parts of the area. Your coastal waters really forecast for, for the WXK83 really listening sure. area for the following marine really locations, Charlotte Harbor and Pine Island Sound. He should at 5.55 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Hurricane warning in effect. Tonight, hurricane conditions expected. South winds 40 to 50 knots with gusts up to 65 knots. Becoming west 35 to 45 knots with gusts up to 55 knots after midnight. Waves 3 to 5 feet. The inland water is extremely rough. Isolated thunderstorms. Numerous showers, mainly this evening. Thursday, tropical storm hey, conditions Melvin. expected with hurricane conditions possible. Okay, North all North units advise you're in a shelter before we contact you for your location shortly. Knots. Watch your phone. Waves two to four feet. The ones that advised the that they were on their way is extremely rough. go to the closest Scattered available shelter and then the the notify us via that group that you're in the shelter. Afternoon. Thursday night, northwest winds 20 to 25 knots with gusts up to 35 knots, becoming north 15 to 20 knots with gusts up to 25 knots after midnight. Bay and okay. inland waters rough. Friday, north winds 15 to 20 knots with gusts up to 25 knots. Clear from center, 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 center. Bay and inland waters choppy. Friday night, northeast hey. winds 15 to 20 knots with gusts up to 25 knots. Bay and inland waters choppy. Saturday, northeast winds 10 to 15 knots with gusts up to 20 knots. The inland waters are at 4608 18th Avenue West, Box 930. The inland waters are moderate chop. Sunday, east winds 5 to 10 knots. Information for that. The inland waters light chop. Affirmative. Callers be with the zero. Code number 941-730-2338. winds 5 to 10 knots. Bay and inland waters light chop. Isolated showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon. Winds and waves higher and end their thunderstorms. Your coastal waters forecast for the WXK83 listening area for the following marine location. Coastal waters from Bonita Beach to Angle Mount to Nautical Miles. Issued at 5.55 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Hurricane warning in effect. Tonight, hurricane conditions expected. South winds 50 to 60 knots with gusts up to 80 knots, becoming west 35 to 45 knots Please with gusts up to 60 knots after midnight. Please power lines down right in front of the station. Feet. Occasionally Be careful going back. Feet. I'll give you one information on that. Southwest 19 feet at 13 seconds and west 4 feet at 7 seconds. Is that going to be the best entrance? Bay and inland water is extremely rough. Isolated thunderstorms. Thursday, tropical storm conditions expected with hurricane conditions possible. 21 copies. Northwest winds 25 to 30 knots with gusts up to 40 knots. Seas 9 to 12 feet, occasionally to 15 feet. That's play and we'll be from that. Wave detail, west 12 feet at 9 yeah, seconds and northwest 2 feet at 4 seconds. Bay and inland water is very rough. Copy. Numerous showers with Thank isolated thunderstorms early in the morning. Two. Then isolated showers and thunderstorms in the late morning and early afternoon. 
Thursday night, north winds 25 to 30 knots, and then contact 20 to 25 knots after midnight. Seas 7 to 10 feet, occasionally to 13 feet, subsiding to 5 to 7 feet, occasionally to 9 feet after midnight. Wave detail, northwest 9 feet at 8 seconds. Bay and inland waters very rough. Friday, north winds 20 to 25 knots, becoming northeast 15 to 20 knots in the afternoon. Yeah, that might still be out. Sea 4 to 6 feet, occasionally to 8 feet. Make sure they're in a shelter. Wave detail, northwest 6 feet at 8 right seconds now. and northwest 5 feet at 8 Six seconds. Four, I don't see. Friday night, northeast winds 20 to 25 knots, diminishing to 15 to 20 knots after midnight. Seas 3 to 5 feet, occasionally to 6 feet. Wave detail, north 4 feet at 6 seconds. Structure popular. And inland waters rough. Behind Saturday, northeast winds 15 to 20 knots, diminishing to 10 to 15 knots in the afternoon. Seas 2 to 4 feet, occasionally to 5 feet. Location possibly 6 to 0 4, 3 feet at 6 seconds. And inland waters choppy. Saturday night, northeast winds 15 to 20 knots, becoming east 10 to 15 knots after midnight. Seas 2 to 3 feet. Bay and inland waters choppy. Sunday, east winds 10 to 50 knots. Seas around 2 feet. Bay and inland waters moderate chop. Sunday night, yeah, yeah, east winds yeah. 5 to 10 knots. Seas 1 foot to zero zero three six zero Bay and inland waters light nine chop. Four one six Monday, zero zero east winds six 5 zero to 10 knots. Seas 1 foot or less. Yeah, Bay and inland waters light eight, chop. Isolated showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon. Winds and seas higher in and near sure thunderstorms. Your coastal waters forecast for the WXK83 listening area for the following marine oh, location. Yeah. Coastal waters from Bonita Beach to Englewood out 20 to 60 nautical miles. He should at 5.55 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Hurricane By the starting off at that V2. Tonight, in hurricane in. conditions. Southwest wind 65 to 85 knots with gusts up to 105 knots, becoming west 35 45. to 45 knots with gusts up to 55 knots after midnight. Sea is 21 to 26 feet, occasionally to 43 feet, subsiding to 14 to 19 feet, occasionally to 24 feet after midnight. Wave detail, southwest 26 feet at 12 seconds and east 3 feet at 8 seconds. Isolated thunderstorms. Thursday, tropical okay. storm conditions expected with hurricane conditions possible. Northwest winds 25 to 30 knots with gusts up to 40 knots. Eastern west and 6 avenue west. 11 to 13 feet. Fox 926. 17 feet. Have wind detail. Northwest well. 13 feet at 8 seconds. That's the same call we just ran on a few minutes ago. We do have it for all. Early in the morning, then isolated in the morning. We'll go ahead and call the line and tell them that there's Thursday night, fire north winds 25 to 30 knots, diminishing to 20 to 25 knots after midnight. Seas 9 to 11 feet, occasionally to 14 feet, subsiding to 7 to 10 feet, occasionally to 13 feet after midnight. Wave detail, northwest 11 feet at 9 seconds and southwest 1 foot at 7 seconds. Isolated showers and thunderstorms early in the evening. Friday, northeast winds 20 to 25 knots. Seas 5 to 8 feet, occasionally to 10 feet. Wave detail, north 8 feet at 8 seconds and north 7 feet at 7 seconds. Friday night, northeast winds 20 to 25 knots. to 15 to 20 knots. Seas 5 to 6 feet, occasionally to 8 feet. Wave detail, north 5 feet at 6 seconds. Isolated showers and thunderstorms until early morning. Saturday, northeast winds 15 to 20 knots. Seas 3 to 5 feet, occasionally to 6 feet. Wave detail, north 4 feet at 6 seconds. Saturday night, northeast winds around 15 knots. Seas 3 to 4 feet, occasionally to 5 feet. Isolated showers and thunderstorms. Sunday, east winds 10 to 15 knots. Seas 2 to 3 feet. Isolated showers and thunderstorms early in the morning. Isolated showers and thunderstorms late. Sunday, east winds around 10 knots. Seas around 2 feet. Isolated showers and thunderstorms. backyard. Monday, east winds around 10 knots. Seas 1 foot or less. Isolated showers and thunderstorms. 
Okay, power Winds and seas fire and end their thunderstorms. Flood watch remains in effect through Thursday evening. The flood watch continues for portions of southwest Florida and west central Florida, including the following areas. In southwest Florida, coastal Charlotte, coastal Lee, inland Charlotte, and inland Lee. In west central Florida, coastal Citrus, coastal Hernando, coastal Hillsboro, coastal Levy, coastal Manatee, coastal Pasco, coastal Sarasota, DeSoto, Hardy, inland Citrus, inland Hernando, inland Hillsboro, inland Levy, inland Manatee, inland Pasco, inland Sarasota, Pinellas, Polk, and Sumter. Through Thursday evening when? Through Thursday evening. Impacts, excessive runoff may result in flooding of rivers, creeks, streams, and other low-lying and flood-prone locations. Storm drains and ditches may become clogged with debris. You should monitor later forecasts and be alert for possible flood warnings. Those living in areas prone to flooding should be prepared to take action should flooding develop. Flood watch is canceled. The flood watch is canceled for portions of southern and southwest Florida, including the following areas, in southern Florida, Glades and Henry. In southwest Florida, coastal Collier County and inland Collier County. Flooding is no longer expected to pose a threat. This is NOAA Weather Radio WYOUXK83, the voice of the National Weather Service, broadcasting at a frequency of 162.475 MHz. The tower for WXK83 is located near Fort Myers in Lee County and serves southwest Florida with programming originating from the National this Weather Service office in Ruskin. The station provides warning alerts for Lee, Charlotte, DeSoto, Glade, Henry, and Collier Counties. The Fort Myers climate summary for Carolina. this evening as of 5 p.m. October 9, 2024. Go ahead. Today's high temperature was 84 degrees. This high was 4 degrees below the normal high of 88. The record high is 94 degrees, which was last set in 2009. Today's low temperature was 76 degrees. This low was 5 degrees above the normal low of 71. The record low is 57 degrees, which was set in 2000. 2.50 inches of precipitation fell today, which brings the monthly total to 7.10 inches. This is 5.84 inches above the normal amount of 1.26 inches for October. The total precipitation for the season since September 1st now stands at 17.94 inches, which is 7.68 inches above normal. The total precipitation for the year is now 76.78 inches, which is 24.87 inches above normal. Today the maximum wind observed was 30 miles an hour from the south. The highest wind gust observed was 55 miles per hour from the south. The normal high temperature for tomorrow is 88 degrees, and the normal low is 71. The record high for tomorrow is 94, which occurred in 1919, and the record low is 54, which occurred in 2000. Sunset tonight is at 7.05 p.m. Sunrise tomorrow is at 7.24 a.m. The current time is 6.33 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. A hurricane warning remains in effect for the following counties. In Florida, Coastal Levy, D.E. Soto, Hardy, Highlands, Inland Charlotte, Inland Citrus, Inland Hernando, Inland Hillsboro, Inland Levy, Inland Manatee, Inland Pasco, Inland Sarasota, Polk and Sumter. Tide forecast. At Fort Myers Beach, high time Thursday at 4.49 a.m. Low tide Thursday at 1.50 p.m. Tide forecast. At Punta Gorda, low tide Wednesday at 3.31 p.m. High tide Thursday at 7.05 a.m. A storm surge warning remains in effect and a hurricane warning remains in effect for the following counties. In Florida, coastal Charlotte, coastal Citrus, coastal Hernando, coastal Hillsboro, coastal Lee, coastal Manatee, coastal Pasco, coastal Sarasota, inland Lee and Pinellas. 61st Avenue. A storm surge warning remains in effect and a hurricane watch has been replaced by a tropical storm warning for the following county, coastal Collier, Florida. A hurricane watch and tropical storm warning are both in effect for the following counties. In Florida, Glades and Henry. A hurricane no, watch has been replaced by a tropical storm, storm warning for the following county. Inland Collier, Florida. Flood warning now in effect from Friday morning until further notice. 
Ten nine five one five zero sixty four East Box eleven thirty. General alarm for room seven zero. From Friday morning until further notice. Impacts at seven feet. Feeding Creek is at flood stage. Access road to campground and the bathhouse are flooded. Additional details. Nine five one five State Road sixty four East. The stage was six point two feet. Bankful stage is five point zero feet. Forecast: The river is expected to rise above flood stage Friday morning and continue rising to a crest of 7.5 feet Saturday morning. Flood stage is 7 feet. Flood history: This crest compares to a previous crest of 7.5 feet on September 17, 1979. HTTP colon slash slash www.weather.gov slash safety slash flood. Flood warning now in effect from this afternoon until further notice. What? Moderate flooding is forecast. Where? Horse Creek near Arcadia at ASR 72. When? From this afternoon until further notice. Impacts at 15 feet. Royal Park Estates are affected near State Road at 72. Additional details at 4.30 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time Wednesday the stage was 11.9 feet. Bankful stage is 12 feet. Forecast, the river is expected to rise above flood stage late this afternoon and continue rising to a crest of 15 feet early Saturday morning. Is at Williams flood stage is 12 feet. Lieutenant Newman. Flood history, this crest compares to a previous crest of 15 feet on February 19, 1998. You give me a call, please. HTTPS, www.weather.gov slash safety slash flood. Flood warning now in effect from this afternoon until further notice. What? Moderate flooding is forecast. Where? Peace River at Arcadia. Let me see. Go ahead. When? Clear to copy. From the this afternoon right. until further notice. Impacts at 15.5 feet. 25 homes at River Acres are impacted. Five. Additional details. At 4.30 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time Wednesday, the stage was 10.9 feet. Bankful stage is 10 feet. Forecast, the river is expected to rise above flood stage late this afternoon and continue rising to 15.4 feet early Monday afternoon. Additional rises are possible thereafter. Flood stage is 11 feet. Flood history, this crest compares to a previous crest of 15.4 feet on June 26, 2003. HTTPS, www.weather.gov slash safety slash Flood. Tornado watch Radio number 690 two. remains in effect until 9 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time for the following counties. That's where Florida, Collier, Glades, and Henry. Remember, a tornado watch means the conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather, including tornadoes, large hail, and damaging winds in and close to the watch Make area. Sure everyone's sheltering in place, While okay? severe weather may not be imminent, persons should remain alert for rapidly changing weather conditions and listen for later statements and possible warnings. Stay tuned to NOAA Weather Radio, commercial radio and television outlets, or Internet sources for the latest yeah, severe you. weather information. Repeating, Tornado Watch number 690 remains in effect until 9 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time for the following counties in Florida, Collier, Glades, and Henry. These are the 6 p.m. observations for the local area on Wednesday, October 9th. At Fort Myers Page Field, it was cloudy. The temperature was 82 degrees, had a 2.75, and the relative humidity 79%. The pressure was 29.29 inches and falling. At Southwest International, visibility 10 miles, wind was south at 31 miles an hour, and the pressure was 29.3 inches and falling. At Punta Gorda, it was cloudy, the temperature was 83 degrees, the 2.77, and the relative humidity 82%. The wind was southeast at 36 miles an hour, gusting to 49. The pressure was 29.24 inches and falling. Here, Rain was falling up. with a temperature of 75 at Orlando and 84 at West Palm Beach. Home Park, it was cloudy with a temperature of 86 West, at Miami and 84 at Key West. West. At Tampa International, rain and fog were reported with a temperature of 73. Copy. If you have a water airport, rain and fog were reported with a temperature of 73. At Sarasota Bradenton Airport, rain and fog were reported with a temperature of 79. At Venice Municipal Airport, mixed precipitation was falling. Marine reports along the coast and offshore buoys. 
at the sea man site at Venice. Winds were southeast at 39 knots. Sea temperature 83 degrees. Air temperature 82 degrees at 100 miles west of Bayport. Winds were northeast at 37 knots. Air temperature so 78 degrees. Wave height 17 feet. Wave period 8 seconds. seconds. A service call the report from 210 miles west of Costa was not available. In the house, water in the house can't get This is a tropical weather bulletin from the National Hurricane, Hurricane Center. Another report at 6 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. At 5 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, or 2100 UTC, the center of Hurricane Milton was located near latitude 26.9 north, latitude 83.4 west. About 95 miles, 154 kilometers okay, west of Fort Myers, Florida. About 92 miles, 149 kilometers southwest of Tampa, Florida. Milton is moving toward the oh, northeast near 17 miles an hour, 28 kilometers per hour, back. and this motion is expected to continue through tonight. A turn toward the east northeast is expected on Thursday, followed by a turn toward the east on Friday. On the forecast track, the center of Milton will make landfall no, near or just south of the Tampa Bay region this evening, move across the central part of the Florida Peninsula overnight, and emerge off the east coast of Florida on Thursday. Maximum sustained winds are near 120 miles an hour, 195 kilometers per hour with higher gusts. Milton is a Category 3 hurricane on the Saphir Simpson Hurricane Wind Scale. Milton could still be a major hurricane when it reaches the coast of West Central Florida this evening, and it will remain a hurricane while it moves across Central Florida through Thursday. Milton is forecast to weaken over the western Atlantic and become extratropical by Thursday night. Okay, that's part of Hurricane our force winds extend season. outward up to 35 miles, 55 kilometers from the center, and tropical storm force winds extend outward up to 255 miles, 405 kilometer. A weather flow site located in Igma Channel, Jigal, recently reported a sustained wind speed of 51 miles an hour, 82 kilometers per hour, with a wind gust of 63 miles an hour, 102 kilometers per hour. A weather flow site located on the Sunshine Skyway, Pier XSKY, recently reported a sustained wind speed of 47 miles an hour, 76 kilometers per hour, with a wind gust of 62 miles an hour, 100 kilometers per hour. The minimum central pressure based on Air Force Eight. Reserve Hurricane Hunter data is 948 millibars, 28.00 inches. Your local forecast for the WXK83 listening area for the following county, Coastal Collier, Florida. Issued at 5.31 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Flood watch remains in effect through Thursday morning. High surf advisory in effect until 8 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time Thursday. Tornado watch 690 in effect until 9 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time this evening. High rip current risk in effect through Friday morning. Storm surge warning in effect. Tropical storm warning in effect. Tonight, tropical storm conditions. Southwest winds 35 to 45 miles an hour with gusts up to 60 miles an hour. Thursday, tropical storm conditions possible. Mostly cloudy with a chance of showers and thunderstorms in the morning, then partly sunny with a slight chance of showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon. Some thunderstorms may produce heavy rainfall in the morning. Humid. Near steady temperature in the lower 80s. West winds 25 to 35 miles an hour with gusts up to 60 miles North an hour. North regional dispatch from ECC on Tech 5. Thursday night, tropical storm conditions okay. possible. Mostly cloudy in the evening. Yes, ma'am. Address 612 for a disaster. Northwest winds 20 to 30 miles an hour home. with gusts up to 15 zero miles an hour. to 15 to miles an hour with gusts up to 35 miles an hour after midnight. Friday, mostly sunny. Highs in the upper 80s. North winds 15 to 20 miles an hour with gusts up to 30 miles an hour. Correct. Friday night, partly cloudy in the evening, then clearing. Lows in the lower 70s. Northeast winds 15 to 20 miles an hour with gusts up to 25 miles an hour. Saturday, sunny. Highs in the upper 80s. Saturday night, partly cloudy. Lows in the lower 70s. Sunday, mostly sunny. Highs in the mid 80s. Sunday night, partly cloudy. Lows in the lower 70s. Columbus Day, mostly sunny. A chance of showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the mid-80s. 
chance of rain 40%. Monday night, partly cloudy. A chance of showers and thunderstorms in the evening. Lows in the lower 70s. Chance of rain 40%. Tuesday, mostly sunny. A chance of showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the mid 80s. Chance of rain 30%. Tuesday night, mostly cloudy. A chance of showers and thunderstorms in the evening. Lows in the lower 70s. Chance of rain 30%. Wednesday, partly sunny. Highs in the lower 80s. Synopsis, Major Hurricane Milton will make landfall along the west central and southwest Florida coast late this evening and tonight producing life-threatening storm surge, destructive major hurricane force wind damage, flash flooding rain and scattered damaging tornadoes to much of the area. Your coastal waters forecast for the WXK83 listening area for the following marine location, Charlotte Harbor and Pine Island Sound. Issued at 5.55 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Hurricane warning in effect. Tonight, hurricane conditions expected. South winds 40 to 50 knots with gusts up to 65 knots, becoming west 35 to 45 knots with gusts up to 55 knots after midnight. Waves 3 to 5 feet. Bay and inland waters extremely rough. Isolated thunderstorms. Numerous showers, mainly this evening. Thursday, tropical storm conditions expected with hurricane conditions possible. Northwest winds 25 to 35 knots with gusts up to 50 knots. Waves 2 to 4 feet. Bay and inland waters extremely rough. Scattered showers with isolated thunderstorms in the morning, then isolated showers and thunderstorms early in the afternoon. Thursday night, northwest winds 20 to 25 knots with gusts up to 35 knots, becoming north 15 to 20 knots with gusts up to 25 knots after midnight. Bay and inland waters rough. Fire alarm on fire. North winds 15 to 20 knots with gusts up to 25 knots. Bay and inland waters choppy. Friday night, northeast winds 15 to 20 knots with gusts up to 25 knots. Bay and inland waters choppy. Saturday, northeast winds 10 to 15 knots with gusts up to 20 knots. Bay and inland waters a moderate chop. Saturday night, northeast winds 10 to 15 knots. Bay and inland waters a moderate chop. Sunday, east winds 5 to 10 knots. Bay and inland waters light DLC chop. To all Sunday night, east winds 5 to 10 knots. For Bay and inland waters light here chop. In about 15 Monday, minutes, so just give me a heads up. To 10 knots. Numbers update in 15 Bay minutes. Bay and inland waters light chop. Isolated showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon. Winds and waves higher in and near thunderstorms. Your coastal waters forecast for the WXK83 listening area for the following marine location, coastal waters from Bonita Beach to Englewood out 20 nautical miles. Issued at 5.55 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Hurricane warning in effect. Tonight, hurricane conditions expected. South winds 50 to 60 knots with gusts up to 80 knots, becoming west 35 to 45 knots with gusts up to 60 knots after midnight. Seas 14 to 19 feet, occasionally to 24 feet. Wave detail, southwest 19 feet at 13 seconds and west 4 feet at 7 seconds. Bay and inland waters extremely rough. Isolated thunderstorms. Thursday, tropical storm conditions expected with hurricane conditions possible. Northwest winds 25 to 30 knots with gusts up to 40 knots. Seas 9 to 12 feet, occasionally to 15 feet. Wave detail, west 12 feet at 9 seconds and northwest 2 feet at 4 seconds. Bay and inland waters very rough. Numerous showers with isolated thunderstorms early in the morning, then isolated showers and thunderstorms in the late morning and early afternoon. Thursday night, north winds 25 to 30 knots, diminishing to 20 to 25 knots after midnight. Seas 7 to 10 feet, occasionally to 13 feet, subsiding to 5 to 7 feet, occasionally to 9 feet after midnight. Wave detail, northwest 9 feet at 8 seconds. Bay and inland waters very rough. Friday, north winds 20 to 25 knots, becoming northeast 15 to 20 knots in the afternoon. Seas 4 to 6 feet, occasionally to 8 feet. Wave detail, northwest 6 feet at 8 seconds and northwest 5 feet at 8 seconds. 
Bay and inland waters rough. Friday night, northeast winds 20 to 25 knots, diminishing to 15 to 20 knots after midnight. Seas 3 to 5 feet, occasionally to 6 feet. Wave detail, north 4 feet at 6 seconds. Bay and inland waters rough. Saturday, northeast winds 15 to 20 knots, diminishing to 10 to 15 knots in the afternoon. Seas 2 to 4 feet, occasionally to 5 feet. Wave detail, north 3 feet at 6 seconds. Bay and inland waters choppy. Saturday night, northeast winds 15 to 20 knots, becoming east 10 to 15 knots after midnight. Seas 2 to 3 feet. Bay and inland waters choppy. Sunday, east winds 10 to 15 knots. Seas around 2 feet. Bay and inland waters a moderate chop. Sunday night, east winds 5 to 10 knots. Seas 1 foot or less. Bay and inland waters light chop. Monday, east winds 5 to 10 knots. Seas 1 foot or less. Bay and inland waters light chop. Isolated showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon. Winds and seas higher and end near thunderstorms. Your coastal waters forecast for the WXK83 listening area for the following marine location. Coastal waters from Bonita Beach to Englewood out 20 to 60 nautical miles. Issued at 5.55 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Hurricane warning in effect. Tonight, hurricane conditions. Southwest wind 65 to 85 knots with gusts up to 105 knots, becoming west 35 to 45 knots with gusts up to 55 knots after midnight. Seas 21 to 26 feet, occasionally to 33 feet, subsiding to 14 to 19 feet, occasionally to 24 feet after oh, midnight. Man, just passed, go ahead. Wave detail, southwest 26 feet at 12 seconds and east 3 feet at 8 seconds. Esmeralda Drive. Isolated thunderstorms. Thursday, tropical storm conditions expected with hurricane conditions possible. Called by third party caller in box 1332 at 40 knots. Seas 11 to 13 feet, occasionally to 17 feet. Wave detail, northwest 13 feet at 8 seconds. Isolated thunderstorms. Scattered showers early in the morning, then isolated showers in the late morning and afternoon. Thursday night, north winds 25 to 30 knots, diminishing to 20 to 25 knots after midnight. Seas 9 to 11 feet, occasionally to 14 yeah, the feet. the overhang outside the world 14 starts to come apart. We're we'll going to sweep it up this right where everybody's personal vehicle is. Northwest 11 feet at 9 seconds and southwest 1 foot at 7 seconds. Isolated showers and thunderstorms early in the evening. Friday, northeast winds 20 to 25 knots. Seas 5 to 8 feet, occasionally to 10 right feet. Car, no, Wave down. detail, north 8 feet at 8 seconds and north 7 feet Sorry, at Mr. 7 Hoffman, seconds. A retired veteran just Friday night, north northeast winds 20 morning, to 25 knots, knots diminishing to 15 to 20 knots after midnight. What? Seas 5 to 6 feet, Wait, occasionally to 8 feet. Wave detail, north 5 door. feet at He's 6 seconds. Isolated showers and thunderstorms until early morning. Saturday, northeast winds 15 to 20 knots. Seas 3 to 5 feet, occasionally to 6 feet. Wave detail, north 4 feet at 6 seconds. Saturday night, northeast winds around 15 knots. Seas 3 to 4 feet, occasionally to 5 feet. Isolated showers and thunderstorms. Sunday, east winds 10 to 15 uh, knots. You. Could you please provide and call back number, please? Isolated showers and thunderstorms early in the morning. Phone number Isolated 850 showers and thunderstorms seven, late. Correction. Sunday night, yeah, no, east seven, winds three, around oh, 10 knots. Eight, five, one. Seas around 2 feet. Isolated showers and thunderstorms. Monday, east winds around 10 knots. Seas 1 foot or less. Isolated showers and thunderstorms. Winds and seas higher and end near thunderstorms. Flood watch remains in effect through... Your boyfriend is a retired vet. The flood watch just pulled out a gun and shot the front door. And west central no injuries at this time. The daughters with the children in the back Florida, room hiding from the mail. Lee, inland Charlotte and inland Lee. In west central Florida, coastal Citrus, coastal Hernando, coastal Hillsboro, coastal Levy, coastal Manatee, coastal Pastor, coastal Sarasota, DeSoto, Hardy, Highland, Inland Citrus, Inland Hernando, Inland Hillsboro, Inland Levy, 
Inland management. Okay, you just can respond. Inland Sarasota. Inland. Okay, I'm going to respond. I'm going to give them both station one. Thursday evening when? Thursday evening. Impacts. Excessive runoff may result in flooding of rivers, creeks, streams, and other lowering and flooding. You are holding my unit back. Storm drains and ditches may become clogged with debris. You should not be aware of forecasts and be alert for possible flood warnings. 331 Those living in areas prone to flooding should be prepared to take action should flooding develop. The Fort Myers Climate Summary for this evening, as of 5 p.m., October 9, 2024. Today's high temperature was 84 degrees. This high was 4 degrees below the normal high of 88. Copy, fire up the record record high is 84 up. degrees, which was last set in 2009. Today's low temperature was 76 degrees. This low was 5 degrees above the normal low of 71. Okay, the record go. low is 57 degrees, which was set in 2000. Yeah, 2.50 inches of precipitation fell today, which brings the monthly total to 7.10 inches. This is 5.84 inches above the normal amount of 1.26 inches for October. The total precipitation for the season is yeah, the whole like uh, area is going to fail soon with this wind. So, uh, might want to evaluate moving your vehicle. The total precipitation for the year is now 76.78 inches, which is 24.87 inches above normal. Today, the maximum wind observed was 30 miles an hour from the south. The highest wind gust observed was 55 miles per hour from the south. The normal high temperature for tomorrow is 88 degrees, and the normal low is 71. The record high for tomorrow is 94, which occurred in 1919, and the record low is 54, which occurred in 2000. Sunset tonight is at 7.05 p.m. Sunrise tomorrow is at 7.24 a.m. The current time is 6.56 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. A hurricane warning remains in effect for the following counties in Florida, Coastal Levy, De Soto, Hardy, Highlands, Inland Charlotte, Inland Citrus, Inland Hernando, Inland Hillsboro, Inland Levy, Inland Manatee, Inland Pasco, Inland Sarasota, Polk and Sumter. Tide forecast. At Fort Myers Beach, high tide Thursday at 4.49 a.m. Low tide Thursday at 1.50 p.m. Tide forecast. At Punta Gorda, low tide Wednesday at 3.31 p.m. High tide Thursday at 7.05 a.m. A storm surge warning remains in effect and a hurricane warning remains in effect for the following counties. In Florida, Coastal Charlotte, Coastal Citrus, Coastal Hernando, Coastal Hillsboro, Coastal Lee, Coastal Manatee, Eight, zero, Coastal five, Pasco, Coastal East, Sarasota, Illinois Impact Lee and Fire Vanilla. Services. A storm South surge East warning flow. remains in effect and the hurricane watch has been replaced by a tropical storm warning for the following county, Coastal Collier, Florida. A hurricane watch and tropical storm warning are both in effect for the following counties, in Florida, Glades and Henry. This is NOAA Weather Radio WYOUX K83, the voice of the National Weather Service, broadcasting at a uh, frequency uh, of 162.475 megahertz. The tower for WXK83 is located near Fort Myers now. in Lee County and serves southwest that Florida with programming originating from the National Mills. Weather Service Mills Office Elementary. in Ruskin. The station provides warning Not alerts for Lee, Charlotte, DeSoto, Glades, Henry, and Collier Counties. Yes. The hurricane watch has been replaced by a tropical storm warning for the following yeah. county, Inland Collier, Florida. Flood warning now in effect Thank from Friday morning Mayaka until further elementary. notice. Mayaka elementary. What? Minor flooding is forecast. Where? Fiji we have near Palmdale. 336 when? From Friday morning until further notice. And 24 Impacts. Deaths. At 7 feet, Fiji Eating Creek is at flood stage. Thank you. Access road to Miller Elementary. The house Miller flooded. Elementary. Additional details at 11 a.m. Eastern Daylight we Time Wednesday. The stage was 6.2 yeah. feet. Bankful stage is 5.0 feet. Animals. Forecast. The river is expected to rise above flood stage Friday morning and continue Thank rising you. to a crest Buffalo of 7.5 feet Saturday Buffalo morning. Creek. Flood stage is 7 feet. Good evening, flood history. Buffalo Creek. This crest has compares to the previous crest of 7.5 feet on September 17, 1979. HTTP colon slash slash www.weather.gov slash safety Thank slash. Thank you. Gullet Elementary, Gullet. 
flood warning now in effect from this afternoon until further Good notice. evening. Call it. Have 967 evacuees, 159 pets, and 20 deaths. This afternoon until further notice. Impacts at 15 feet. Royal Park Thank State you. are affected. McNeil, Road Road at 72. McNeil. Additional details at 4.30 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time Wednesday. The stage was 11.9 feet. Bankful stage is 12 feet. Forecast, the river is expected to rise above flood stage late this afternoon and continue rising to a crest of 15 feet early Saturday morning. Flood stage is 12 feet. Flood history, this crest compares to a previous crest of 15 feet on February 19, 1998. That is correct, Safety slash, flood. Okay, so yeah, I no effect from this four, two, until three, three, eight, 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 What? Moderate flooding is forecast. Where? Peace River at Arcadia at ASR 70. When? From this afternoon Party until has further 700 notice. Party 127 homes at River Acres are impacted. And 13 Additional details staff. at 4.30 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time Wednesday. The state Thank was 10.9 WD sub middle. Thankful state is 10 feet. Sub. Forecast. The river is expected okay. to rise above flood stage late this afternoon and continue yeah. rising to 15.4 feet early yeah. Monday afternoon. Yeah. Additional rises are possible thereafter. Flood stage is Thank 11 you. feet. Line flood element history. Line. This crest compares to a previous crest of 15.4 feet in 2016. Https. Safety slash. Flood. Tornado watch number 690 remains in effect until 9 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time for the following Bay counties Middle School in Florida, Collier, Glades, and Surrey. Remember, staff the tornado watch means the conditions hits. are favorable for the development of severe weather, including tornadoes, large hail, and damaging winds in and close to the watch area. While severe weather may not be imminent, persons should remain alert for rapidly changing weather conditions and listen for later statements and possible ones. Stay tuned to more weather radio, commercial radio, and television outlets or Internet sources for the latest severe weather information. Willis Elementary. Repeating, Willis. Tornado Watch number 690 remains in effect until 9 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time guess? in the following counties in Florida, Collier, Glades, and Henry. These are the 6 p.m. observations for the local area Williams on Wednesday, October 9th. Head Fort Myers page has 172 visitors, 21 pets, including a many place, and 15 staff. And the relative humidity, 79%. The pressure was 29.29 inches in the falling. Whip. At Southwest International. Evening with Elementary has 74 guests, was south at 6 30 miles an hour. and 26 and staff. And the pressure was 29.33 inches and falling. At Punta Gorda, it was cloudy. Oxenberg, 0, 9, 3, 3. No smoke, show. And the relative humidity, 82%. The wind was south at 36 oh. miles an hour, gusting to 49. The pressure was 29.24 inches and seven, falling. Two, six, five, Rain four, was zero, falling three. with a temperature of 75 at Orlando and 84 at West Palm Beach. It was cloudy with a temperature of 86 at Miami and 84 at Key West. At Tampa International, rain and fog were reported with a temperature of 73. At St. Pete Clearwater well, Airport, well, rain and fog were reported with a temperature of 73. Copy alarm malfunction. At Sarasota Bradenton Airport, rain and fog were reported with a temperature of 79. For at Venice conditions. Municipal Airport, mixed Fox precipitation was falling. Marine reports along the coast and offshore buoys. One at the Man site in Venice, street winds west, were southeast at 39 knots. Sea temperature 83 degrees. Air temperature 82 degrees. At 100 miles west of Bayport, winds were northeast at 37 knots. 6.3 is temperature 78 degrees. Wave height 17 feet. Wave period 8 seconds. The report from 210 miles west of Kaptiva was we're not available. For the storm, so just hold that one in there. This is a tropical weather bulletin from the National Across Hurricane street. Center, issued at 4:56 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. At 5 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, for 2100 UTC, the center of Hurricane Milton was located near latitude 26.9 north, latitude 83.4 west. 
about 95 miles, 154 uh, kilometers west of Fort Myers, Florida, about 92 miles, 149 kilometers southwest of Florida, Florida. Uh, Milton is moving toward the northeast at 17 uh, miles an hour, 28 kilometers per hour, and this motion is expected to continue through tonight. Here we come to that one, four, four, eight, five, six, six, four, eight, five, eight, five, eight, five, Followed by a turn to the east on Friday. Uh, a concrete on the location right next door to the will make landfall near or in just south of the Tampa Bay region this evening. Move across the central part of the Florida Peninsula overnight and emerge off the east coast right, of Florida five. on Thursday. Maximum sustained winds are near 120 miles an hour, 195 kilometers per hour with this. higher gusts. Milton is a category 3 Perfect. hurricane on the Sophia Simpson please. hurricane wind scale. Milton could still be a major hurricane when it reaches the coast of West Central Florida this evening, and it will remain a hurricane while it moves across Central Florida through Thursday. Milton is forecast to weaken over the western Atlantic and become extratropical by Thursday night. Hurricane force winds extend outward up to 35 miles 55 kilometers from the center and tropical storm force winds extend outward up to 255 miles 405 kilometer. A weather flow site located in Igma Channel, Jigum recently reported a sustained wind speed of 51 miles an hour, 82 kilometers per hour, with a wind gust of 63 miles an hour, 102 kilometers per hour. A weather flow site located on the Sunshine Skyway Fishing Pier XSKY recently reported a sustained wind speed of 47 miles an hour, 76 kilometers per hour, with a wind gust of 62 miles an hour, 100 kilometers per hour. The minimum central pressure based on Air Force Reserve Hurricane 100 Ada is 948 millibars, 28.00 inches. Your local forecast for the WXK83 listening area for the following county, Coastal Collier, Florida. Issued at 7.01 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Storm surge warning in effect. Tropical storm warning in effect. High surf advisory in effect until 8 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time Thursday. High rate current risk in effect through Friday morning. Tonight, tropical storm conditions. Southwest winds 35 to 45 miles an hour with winds to 60 miles an hour. Thursday, tropical storm conditions possible. Mostly cloudy with a chance of showers and thunderstorms in the morning. Then yes, partly sunny with a slight chance of showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon. Some thunderstorms may produce heavy rainfall in the morning. For wires Humid. sparking behind the house. Near steady temperature in the lower 80s. West winds 25 to 35 miles an hour with gusts well, up to 60 miles an hour. Come from Rebel again, that's a third party. That uh, name is Justine. Thursday night. Phone number is 631-560-8406. Then becoming partly cloudy. Lows in the mid-70s. Thank you. Northwest winds 20 to 30 miles an hour. Possibly coming to 9th Avenue Drive West. Diminishing to 15 to 20 miles an hour with gusts up to 35 miles an hour after west. midnight. Friday, yes. mostly sunny. Highs in the upper 80s. North winds 15 to 20 miles an hour with gusts up to 30 miles an hour. Friday night, partly cloudy in the evening, then clearing. Lows in the lower 70s. Northeast winds 15 to 20 miles an hour with gusts up to 25 miles an hour. Saturday, sunny. Highs in the upper 80s. Right. Dispatch. Saturday night, partly cloudy. Lows in the lower 70s. Sunday, mostly sunny. Highs in the mid 80s. Sunday night, partly cloudy. Lows in the lower 70s. Almost day, zero eight hours. A chance of showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the mid 80s. Chance of rain 40 percent. Monday night, partly cloudy. A chance of showers and thunderstorms in the evening. Lows in the lower 70s. Chance of rain 40 percent. Tuesday, mostly sunny. A chance of showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the mid 80s. Chance of rain 30 percent. Tuesday night, mostly cloudy. A chance of showers and thunderstorms in the evening. Lows in the lower 70s. Chance of rain 30 percent. Wednesday, partly sunny. Highs in the lower 80s. Synopsis. Major hurricane Milton will make landfall along the west central and Dispatch southwest ahead. Florida coast late this evening and tonight producing life-threatening storm surge, destructive major hurricane force wind damage, flash flooding rain and damaging tornadoes to much of the area. 
your coastal waters okay. forecast for the WXK83 listening area. Intersection of New Marine Jersey Street and, and Tennessee Avenue. Island Sound. The trailer safe from Walmart. Box 2023. Right Electrical power sparking on the street. Line and pound. Hurricane conditions expected. South winds 40 to 50 knots with gusts up to 65 knots. Becoming west 35 to 45 yeah, knots with gusts up to 55 knots after midnight. Waves 3 to 5 feet. Bay and inland waters extremely rough. Child care center. Isolated thunderstorms. Numerous showers, mainly this evening. Thursday, tropical storm conditions expected with hurricane conditions Northwest winds 25 to 35 knots with gusts yeah. up to 50 yeah, knots. Just and and waves 2 to 4 feet. Bay and inland waters extremely rough. Scattered showers with isolated thunderstorms in the morning, then isolated showers and thunderstorms early in the afternoon. Thursday night, northwest winds 20 to 25 knots with gusts up to 35 knots. Lady Brace, I have an additional fire alarm for you when you're ready. Up to 25 knots after midnight. Bay and inland waters rough. Friday, north winds 15 to 20 knots with gusts up to 25 knots. Bay and inland waters choppy. Called in by rapid response monitoring. Friday night, northeast winds General 15 signal to 20 knots with gusts up to 25 knots. Bay and inland waters choppy. Saturday, northeast winds 10 to 15 knots with gusts up to 20 knots. Bay and inland waters a moderate chop. Saturday night, northeast winds 10 to 15 knots. Bay and inland waters a moderate chop. Intersection of 30th Street West, 50th Avenue West, to the Hudson. Bay and Church inland waters fire. light chop. Sunday night, east winds 5 to 10 knots. Bay and inland waters light chop. Monday, yeah, east right, winds 5 to 10 knots. Bay and inland waters light chop. Isolated showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon. Winds and waves higher and end near thunderstorms. Your coastal waters forecast for the WXK. Hey, I'm sure that area number skyrocket. For the now. following marine location, coastal waters from Bonita Beach to Englewood out 20 nautical miles. Oh, okay. Issued at 5.55 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Hurricane warning in effect. Tonight, okay. hurricane conditions expected. Address so up 5, 50 3, to 60 3, knots 1, with gusts up 20 20 knots. Knots. Street west. Coming west 35 Box to 45 knots with gusts up to 60 knots after midnight. Spectrum. Seas 14 to 19 feet, occasionally to 24 feet. Wave detail, southwest 19 feet at 13 seconds and west 4 feet at 7 seconds. Bay and inland waters extremely rough. Isolated thunderstorms. Thursday, tropical storm can do the same thing tonight that I've been doing. Conditions possible. But tomorrow morning, winds 25 to 30 at 0900, up to 49. Um, I think we're probably going to, uh, we could potentially have what I call the log jam and, uh, Wave I'd like to have just a, a, a regular tactical resource and information that just for level one, two, three affiliates. Because uh, uh, we need to get them enrolled, getting their on how available they 